Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to show you is how we can work out the vector equation of a plane when we know that it passes through a particular point on the plane, like in this example I've got here, given by this point here. And it's parallel to two lines. If I rotate this, hopefully you can see that it's parallel to these two lines, which don't happen to be on the surface of the plane. Those two lines, by the way, must not be parallel to one another. And if I just angle that, hopefully you can see they're not going in the same direction. Now this particular representation that I've got here is of this problem where we've got to find an equation of a plane in parametric vector form which passes through the point 1, 2, 1, which is this particular point here. And it's parallel to the lines L1 and L2, L1 being this line and L2 the one behind the plane. L1 is given by the position vector r equaling 2i minus 2j plus k plus s times 2i plus j minus k. And the line L2, the green line just behind the plane, is given by r equals minus 2i plus j plus k plus t lots of i plus 3j plus k. Now in order to do these problems, you're not necessarily going to have access to this kind of representation. But we don't have to draw diagrams like this. If we're drawing diagrams, it's very simple to do. What I'd encourage you to do is just draw a simple plane, something like this, okay? We'll just draw it in like so. Now we've got a point on the plane, one, two, one, so we can just put it there as having coordinates one, two, one. And we need a fixed origin, which I'll just say is over here. We don't need to draw coordinate axes. Then if we're looking for the position vector r of any point on the plane, I'll just come up underneath here to this point here, which I'll call p, and so this vector is r. And suppose I draw in my two lines. If we take one line, this line here, I'm just going to draw it across the top, like so. This is the line L1. And we've got the line underneath here. Let's just draw it, say, something like this. Okay, L2. Now when we look at the equation of our two lines, L1 and L2, we should know that this vector at the front here, and in this equation for L2, this vector, they represent the position vectors of two known points on the line. So we've got a point on the line, let's say it's here, it doesn't matter where we place it, with coordinates 2, minus 2, 1. That's represented by this point here. It has coordinates 2, minus 2, and 1 up. And similarly, we have another known point on the line L2. It has coordinates minus 2, 1, 1. Let's say that point's here. Again, it doesn't matter where I place that point on the line. Now, more importantly, are these two vectors on each of the equations? Remember, these two vectors at the end here, behind the parameter s and t, they represent vectors parallel to the line. So we've got a vector. Let's say it's this one, okay, which is the vector, and I'll write it as a column, 2, 1, minus 1. And we've also got a vector parallel to the line L2. Okay, that vector is the vector 1, 3, 1. So again, I'll write that as a column vector, 1, 3, 1. Now, when it comes to the vector of equation of the plane, remember what we need to do when we're giving it in the vector parametric form, we need to go from the origin up to a point on the plane. Well, it's going to be this one here, 1, 2, 1. So R, okay, that's this R, the red R here, 
is equal to going up to a point on the plane. So it's going to be the vector 1, 2, 1. And then to this, we follow it with, say, lambda amounts of a vector parallel to the plane. Well, I could take, say, this vector, 2, 1, minus 1. That would be parallel to the plane. So we just go 2, 1, minus 1. And then followed by any other amounts, let's say mu, times another vector parallel to the plane. Well, I can clearly take this one here with the vector 1, 3, 1. And so this gives me a vector equation for the plane. So we just put that in here, that this is an equation of the plane. So I hope that's given you an idea anyway on how we go about drawing something like this and how we interpret all the component parts.